guys, okay, so this is my very first YouTube video. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while and I know a couple of you guys have been asking me to but I just haven't had time uh, with uni and everything but I've finally graduated. The look I'm doing today is just my everyday makeup look which is this one I've got on here. Yeah, hope you did okay and you guys enjoy it. So let me know, put your comments below and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I've got absolutely nothing on my face right now. Um, I'm just going to start by moisturising it. I use the Essay Lauder Day Wear, which I've been using for quite a while. It's pretty good. It doesn't seem to clog my pores um, like I've had with other ones. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. I am obsessed with my primer. It's the Tom Ford. A complexion enhancing primer in peach glow. It's amazing and I love it and it's getting quite low and I'm scared. This one gives your skin a really nice glow and it preps the skin perfect for the foundation. And you only have to use a tiny little bit which is good. This step isn't essential but I like to do it because I like really glowy skin. This is the Essay Lauder Flash Illuminator in Morning Light, which is number two. Um, some people like to mix this in with their foundation, but I pop it on the skin first and then use my foundation and then use it again after. I like to be glowy people. <laughs> so again, that one just goes all over the face like a primer again. And even on holiday, just the, that on its own is amazing. So next I'm going to go with my concealer. This is the Essay Lauder Perfectionist Concealer, which has um, a brightening serum on the end and a stick concealer on the other end. I'm going to pop the serum side under the eye, which hydrates the eye and makes it bright and up as well. So I'm going to use my blender and just pop that bit in first. It also hydrates the eye so you don't get any creasing. And then I'm going to use the stick concealer to get any dark circles. Uh, and now I'm going to go into my foundation. Um, I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is really long lasting. You literally, when it's on in the morning, it'll be like that until you go to sleep, which is amazing. Um, sometimes I don't want to use it because it's slightly heavier than I'd want, like you don't, I don't want to use it just to go into Tesco, as I say, but this one, for a normal day, when you're doing things and you want it to last, is really good. Now I'm going to contour my face um, with the Infallible Sculpt uh, palette by L'Oreal. So this is it, you get your dark colour and your light colour. Um, they go quite dry when they're not in use, so I like to use my Fix Plus by MAC and literally just spritz them just to make them wet. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I do. And then I'm going to take the darker colour first. I'm going to pop it just under the cheekbone. I'm going to go on the hairline. Smaller brush for the nose. I'm just going to go down each side and on the tip. Creativity going on here, it's really simple and you just blend it all out. Okay, so that's the dark contour done um, and then I'm going to use the other side for the highlight. I'm just going to use another brush and use the lighter one just under the eye. It's so easy to use as well, this cut on the nose and just in the middle of the forehead uh, and now I'm going to set that with a powder I am using the Ben Nye banana powder okay now I'm going to go back to the flash illuminator by the Estee Edit and I'm going to go on the top of my cheekbone with this one um, as a highlight but it's just Amazing, and I feel like it just really brings the face to life. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and do my blush and a powder highlighter with the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. For the blush, I am going to use these top two colours here. The pink is quite shimmery, and um, I just tend to mix the two together um, just so it's not as harsh. Okay, and finally, for the highlighter, I'm using Champagne Pop, which is this one here. I know it was very popular, that's why I started using it. Um, but I actually found it in the whole palette, that's why I bought this one. I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus just to spritz all over the skin first before the highlighter, just because it makes it more intense um, and it kind of sticks to the, the spray. So I'm just going to spray this. I'm going to get my uh, fan brush from and just use the champagne pot. Again, top of the cheekbone, keep it down the nose, keep his bow. Okay, for the brow, I've actually really only got into my brows within the last year. Um, these girls have these perfect brows, and I just don't really bother with mine. But now, very important in the routine. Okay, so I'm going to use the Benefit Browsing um, Kit. This one's actually really odd. I've just looked online and I don't even think they do it anymore. But the powders just last so long, but yeah, basically, excuse the state of this, but they've got the powder and the wax. I only use it for the powder side, which is the slider side. Just take the powder and I'm just going to start along the edge, the bottom edge. Basically, the powder is just to fill the brow in. And now, for the gel, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow. I've been using it for a few years now, still loving it. Uh, and this one is in blonde. So I'm just going to follow the same lines as I did before, but it's going to make the shape this time. I'm going to carve it out with this matte paint pot. Um, it's the Longwear, it's the Pro Longwear paint pot in Soft Orchid. Orchid Ochre. Soft Ochre. I'll just make it up as we go along. And just work along. You don't have to do it in one swoop, you can just. So I'm going to puff it all over the lid and double it up as an eyeshadow base. I'm going to go ahead and do a really quick eyeshadow. Obviously, for the day, I don't want to go too dramatic. Okay, I'm just going to use the Estee Lauder um, colour in Summer Linen. I'm just going to go all over the lid um, just to set the paint part that we've just put on. Now this one here um, is a Kiko eyeshadow, this is number 43. So I'm just going to pop that one all over the lid. This one, I'm just going to follow it slightly under the eye. Okay, now I'm going to go on to the really, I know this looks scary, but this is the, another Kiko colour in number 44. Um, yeah, looked really scary and I didn't know how it was going to turn out, but I actually use it pretty much every day. And then I'm just going to take my, oh, I don't know how you set this one, Tartelette. I actually only use this colour here called Dreamer, just the brown, um, and that one just goes in the crease of the eye. I'm just going to follow it under the eye slightly. I'm going to use a eyeshadow stick um, by the Estee Edit again. I'm going to use a flat, a kind of stubby brush, 
God, I'm so technical with these names. I'm just gonna pop some mascara on. I have actually got eyelash extensions on at the moment, so I'm just gonna pop them on the bottom ones. But this uh, mascara I use is the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme. Okay, finally, I'm just gonna go and do my lips. Or is it 302? I have to go a slightly darker line out from what lipstick I'm wearing. And I'm going to go with my lipstick, which is the MAC Cream Sheen Shanghai Spice. This one's actually uh, one I've just brought, and I'm loving it for the summer. Got that little bit of a sheen, but it's just a perfect colour. Yep, so that is my final look uh, for my daytime routine makeup. I can do an evening one for you guys, which is similar, especially the face, uh, just slightly dr more dramatic eye, maybe a bit of glitter. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon.